What's going on guys, it's Renegade G Ninja here, and as the guy skips ahead in front of me, I'm going to start up a series about getting pumped up for Black Ops 2, or more importantly, getting ready for Black Ops 2. One of the most important things you can do to get ready for Black Ops 2 is your connection. Make sure you have the best internet connection you possibly can to game on. Now, I made a video quick about this earlier, it's about how not to play, or why not to play on wireless connections. Um, there's a big reason about that, but the reason pretty much is because when you use a wireless connection, I don't care what kind of router you have, it has to turn the signal to a wireless signal and then has to turn it back to a normal standard signal and pretty much it impedes your packet flow, screws up your packet flow. So you don't wanna do that. I don't care what kind of expensive router you have, you wanna try to plug it in if you can. Now, before I get more in depth into this, I wanted to give a shout out to Lauren Tommy. I was supposed to give him a shout out in my last shout out video. Him and I are networking, um, trying to work together and stuff and I actually forgot, so that's my bad man. I really like his stuff and he actually has a IMS video where he's trolling with his IMS I watched and it's actually really really funny So if you like that kind of stuff check him out I like it the same with any shout out guys I can't guarantee you're gonna like everybody that I like but you know if we have similar tastes I think his videos are funny so check him out Lauren Tommy I'll leave him in the description all that kind of stuff but anyway guys all right let's get right into networking and this is just pretty much getting ready for black ops 2 you want to have the best connection you can and uh, we're going to get really basic into this. It's going to be like a super basic thing. The reason is, is because you can really look into more in-depth stuff on Google. Um, I can't talk about every single person's router, every single person's network here. Um, you can get into the specifics later on your internet. But basically the idea is, what happens when you, when you have an internet service provider? Okay, so the cable comes into your house, it goes into your modem. Your modem then goes, it's just like a little box at the internet service provider, whether it's Time Warner Cable or whoever you have, they provide it to you. Um, from there, it can go into your router. Now that's something that you buy. It can be a wireless router, it can be just a normal router, but what that does is it takes that signal and it splits it off so that you can have multiple things running in your house at the same time. Now, optimally, you would just have only the game that you're playing running at that time. You don't have people playing video games on the computer while you're trying to play this on the on the xbox you don't have people watching youtube videos unless of course they're mine but that's just not how life works guys and i understand that you know you can't go upstairs and tell your mom to get off the internet because you're playing video games um you know that's just that's just how it works so but what you can do is you can set your xbox to have priority over all that stuff so your xbox would essentially have priority over everything which is what i just said now i just said it again whatever uh, <laughs> And how you do that is, well, there's a few ways to do it, and the easiest way to do it, now this is how your router is set up, but the easiest way to do it is just plug your Xbox into the back of your router in port 1 or 2 or whatever it is, and then say, I want that port 1 or 2 or whatever you plug your Xbox into to have priority over everything, the highest priority. So you just plug it into the back in port 1, and then you say, I want port 1 to have priority over everything, period. So when you're gaming and somebody gets on the internet and starts watching a YouTube video, your Xbox will lag less because whatever you're doing in the packets of information that you're sending and receiving have priority over their YouTube videos. It'll slow their internet down and keep yours from slowing down as bad. Now it's not perfect because like I said, the best is if nobody's doing anything, but it still helps a lot. Now, how you access that, what you do is you go into your, your internet bar, like your Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Firefox, or whatever you use, and you're gonna type in your router's IP address. Now you can look that up on Google. What you do is you look at your router, and like mine's a Linksys. So you look at your router, and you look at the brand, you look at the model, and you look up, you know, what's my router's IP, or how do I, how do I change settings on my router? And it'll give you a number, and it'll be something like 192.162.1.1, something like that. And you're gonna put that in your address bar and hit enter and it's going to bring up a page that says admin and password or i'm sorry username and password and you know whatever place that you're at should also tell you the basic default username and password whether it's admin admin or blank or whatever they'll tell you that okay from there you will be in your router settings okay you want to get in those router settings and that's how you can change that port to have priority now that's the easiest thing you can do. And if you're running a kind of a crappier connection, that's 
that's what you want to do because it's not going to make you host it's just going to make sure your connection has priority now other than that what you can do is you can put your xbox on a static ip address now that's a little bit more complicated and you're going to look up you're going to need to look up videos how to do that but i would recommend only people who have at least medium to good internet connections to do this because it will make you host more and you don't want to ruin everybody else's game if you have a really terrible connection by hosting all the time how you do that though is well what happens is when you're playing on xbox or when you turn your xbox on your router gives your xbox a number and it can give it a different number every time. And the problem is, is if it gives it a different number every time, you can't adjust settings for that number. So you need that number to stay the same. So what you do is you go into your Xbox Live settings and you just, you look into where it says, I believe it's connection settings. I don't know, you have to look into it, but it'll say automatic or manual. And what you do is you just take a piece of paper and you go to automatic and you write down all your numbers, write them all down exactly what they are word for word you know letter for letter whatever number for number that's what i want because they're numbers but anyway so you write them all down and then you go to manual setup and you click manual setup and you literally just type them all back in and what that does is that sets your xbox to always be that number always then you go over to your router and you know there's the, the xboxes are finicky sometimes it works like that sometimes you got to goof off and do it a little bit differently look it up on google Worst case scenario, if it screws up or something, all you do is click back on automatic and it just goes straight back to automatic. Um, so it's really not like you can really mess it up. If, if something happens, you don't have a connection, you're like, oh my gosh, now I can't get online. Just go back to automatic, no problem. But what you do from there is now your Xbox is set up to always have that IP address, to always be that number. And then this is another way you can give it priority. Sometimes routers say, give me an IP address that always has, that has priority. And then you put that IP address in there, whatever your Xbox is, and says, I want that to have priority. So that's another way to do it. It depends on how your router is set up, but that is how you give your Xbox priority. That's a huge deal as far as online gaming, because, you know, like I said, if your sister or whatever is watching a video and you're in the middle of a gunfight, all of a sudden your sister uses up your internet packets and information, and bam, your bullets don't get registered, you're dead. Now, once your Xbox has a static IP address, you can do all kinds of things with that. Um, the first thing you can do is, of course, set it to priority, but then from there, you can also have it bypass, bypass your router's firewall. Now, that's good because when your router, when stuff goes through your router's firewall, it's to protect you from like viruses and stuff, and it, it, it does. It impedes the packet flow because it has to scan stuff. Well, your Xbox is not going to get a virus unless you're watching porn, which I already know how you would do that on your Xbox. It's not going to get a virus. You're playing online games. So you can put that on what's called the DMZ. And what that does is it has your Xbox, whatever static IP address that you put on the DMZ, it bypasses your router's firewall. So that's going to speed up your connection just a little bit. And if you don't have that option, you can also do what's called port forwarding, where you find out what ports your Xbox uses. There should be about four of them. One of them is like 3074. I don't know them all. But anyway, you look up those ports and what you're going to do is you're going to put them all four of them on this port forwarding and that has those ports bypass the router's firewall. So same idea guys, DMZ and port forwarding, um, whichever one you can do. But I hope that helped guys. It might help you ping a little bit lower and lag a little bit less on Xbox Live. Getting pumped for Black Ops 2. If it helped at all, make sure you subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.